All right, so maybe you've heard that taking omega-3 supplements can be really good for your dry eyes. Whether you've heard that from us here on this channel, we've covered a lot of dry eye in previous videos, or you've heard directly from your local eye doctor saying that you should take omega-3s, or you should take fish oils, or something along those lines. Either way, what do most of us do? We go to the store, we look at the shelf, and we are instantly overwhelmed by this massive amount of options for omega-3 supplements. So how do you know what's good, what's bad, and what's gonna work for your dry eyes? Well, I've been investigating this, digging into the research, asking other dry eye specialists what they recommend. Just wanted to ask your thoughts on omega-3s. And then investigating each of these brands to better figure out which ones are the best omega-3s for dry eye. Now I am gonna list out the brands that I found and believe are the best omega-3 supplements for dry eye, but I also wanna walk you through just a little bit of the research I did in case you find a different brand or you've been using something else already and want to see if it really maybe is just as good uh, or if it will work for you. That way at least you know kind of my methods and the research to support what may work better for dry eye. You see, omega-3 supplements can come in two different forms, either an ethyl ester form, which is a little bit easier to manufacture and a little bit cheaper, or there's a re-esterified triglyceride form, which takes an extra step in manufacturing, but research has supported that the triglyceride form is more bioavailable, meaning your body absorbs it more, and so you're, it's gonna be well worth it for you to find a triglyceride form of an omega-3. Unfortunately, many brands don't label or advertise clearly whether or not they're triglyceride or ethyl ester form, and so I had to kind of dig into each company and investigate really where they're coming from and, and what they're made out of. In fact, I did find out to my surprise that a lot of the brands I found at the local store are in fact supplied by only a few different companies and one of them for example is called Alaska Mega. They manufacture both ethyl ester and triglyceride form and some of the brands in the market are a mix of the two like they're trying to say they're triglyceride but they're only about 80 percent the triglyceride form and and so they're like cutting in the ethyl ester form to kind of make it cheaper but usually i can tell you if they don't say it's a triglyceride form with a tg or it doesn't say on the bottle or on their website it's probably ethyl ester form. So once I found all the brands that were triglyceride form, I then swiped the rest to the side. So after researching and finding the omegas that are in triglyceride form, I then started to look at dosage as well as the EPA and DHA ratio. And as I mentioned in a previous video, research has supported that taking around at least 1,000 milligrams of omega-3 per day could be beneficial for dry eye, with some research articles supporting closer to around 2,000 milligrams a day as being better or at least getting you faster results. Now in terms of dosage, if you do choose to investigate a different brand that I don't talk about in this video, don't confuse yourself with fish oil versus omega-3 content, because if you look at the label on the back, they are not the same thing. For example, this one bottle of Nature Made that I found says that it has about 2,400 milligrams of fish oil, but if you actually look at the omega-3 content, it's only about 720 milligrams of omega-3. Where are the rest of my omegas? Now, when you're reading the label on the back of the omega-3, you typically see EPA and DHA listed. The EPA to DHA ratio that is most supported in the dry research that I've read suggests a 2 to 1 or all the way up to a 3 to 1 ratio is going to be at least probably giving you better results. So from looking at all of that data, all the brands that I was able to look up, I narrowed things down to at least my top two favorite omegas for dry eye with maybe two honorable mentions as well. Now, before I talk about any other specific brands in this video, I do wanna take a moment, and I wish I didn't have to say this, but understanding how YouTube works and that I'm a practicing medical professional, I just wanna be very transparent about it. I have no interests or financial relationships with any of the supplement companies or omega-3 manufacturers. I really am just trying to do my research as a good doctor and really look for the truth and share it and help out as many people as I can. If you do find value in this content, please do me a favor, hit the like button below this video because it will help out the channel, but also it'll be a signal to me that you like this content and I should keep making videos like this one. Thanks. So starting off with what I consider to be the second best omega-3 for dry eye is that of Nordic Naturals Ultimate Omega. Now what I liked about this is it is in triglyceride form and I was able to find it locally to shopping at a local supermarket or vitamin shop. The other thing is that it is about 1200 milligrams of omega-3 in a single serving. 
the only kind of downside with that is that if you're trying to get to 2,000 milligrams, you're gonna have to take double the dose, which ends up to being about four capsules a day. Now, when I purchased this, it was supposed to be a two month supply, but if you're taking it at 2,000 milligrams, you're taking double that. So really this one bottle is a one month supply and that turns out to be about 55 US dollars when I purchased it here locally. However, as with a lot of these supplements, if you do choose to uh, purchase like a three month supply, usually that price comes down a little bit so you can shop around. Now, the other thing I like about Nordic Naturals is they do also have a liquid form available. So if you don't wanna swallow four pills a day, you can look into the liquid or if you happen perhaps to be a vegan, uh, either because you don't like fish or you just live a vegan lifestyle or you're concerned about overfishing of the oceans, they offer a vegan algae-based oil as well. The only thing I'll comment on that is that the algae oil is a little bit more heavy DHA than EPA. And again, the research just isn't as clear, specifically in dry eye, how effective that will be. But Perhaps in a future video, I'll test out that and see how my own symptoms result. Now, the only reason I'd place this one kind of at my second favorite is because the EPA DHA ratio is a little bit closer to one to one. It's not quite that two to one or three to one ratio. And quite honestly, while most of these brands do add kind of a lemon scent or lemon flavor to it, this one's, it smells and tastes a bit more fishy to me. And that's just honestly a taste and flavor that I do notice and I don't really enjoy it. Again, that's a little bit more subjective than objective information, but again, it's just one of those things. Now from the research I've done and from my own personal experience trying it out, I would say my favorite and probably the best omega-3 supplement for dry eye is that from PRN or Physicians Recommended Nutraceuticals. This is a triglyceride form of omega-3, and it has a really good EPA to DHA ratio. It comes in at about a three to one ratio, and then it automatically, just the way it's set up, is around a little over 2,000 milligrams of omega-3 in a day, and that's only in three capsules. In addition to this, it doesn't taste or smell as fishy, and it has a little bit of vitamin D supplement mixed in with it, which research does support that vitamin D is beneficial for dry eye, and it makes it so I don't need to take any other additional vitamin D supplement. But similar to Nordic Naturals, they do also have a liquid form as well as a vegan form option available. The only thing that most people I think will kind of shy away from uh, PRN is because it's a little bit more expensive. For a single one month supply, it's going to be closer to about 70 US dollars. However, like this right here is a three month supply. So you have to spend a little bit more upfront, but if you divide it out, it comes up closer to about $60 a month, which quite honestly, again, locally, I spent about $55 on this Ultimate Omega from Nordic Naturals. It's about the same thing. And I think it's just a little bit simpler, less pills to swallow. You get the vitamin D and you don't get that fishy taste. Plus the EPA DHA ratio is a little bit more supported in the literature. Now, the only other thing is that the PRN brand is only available at local eye clinics or online. Either way, I do suggest that you do purchase locally because it's good to support your local eye clinics. But if you do choose to go online, I will have links in the description below so that you can find this product easily. You don't need to hunt around for it. So again, the brands I think are the very best Omega-3 for dry eye is that a PRN or Nordic Naturals Ultimate Omega. There are two other honorable mentions I want to throw out here. First is Omega-3 formula from Focus Relief Plus. These ones do have about 1600 milligrams of omega-3 and they're in triglyceride form. The EPA DHA split is about two to one instead of the three to one that you get with PRN. And then they don't have either a liquid form or a vegan option available. Also, these ones you only find again at a local shop or you have to like at a local eye doctor's clinic or you have to shop online. Thankfully, I haven't really gotten too much of a fish smell or anything like that from these ones either, um, but I am testing them out, and so we'll, maybe I'll have an update later. And then my last honorable mention is that of I Promise Easy Tears. Now, I've used these ones in the past. The only issue is that I, I swear in the past they were ethyl ester form, but now looking at it, it does say a TG next to it for triglyceride form. It is a closer to about 1,000 milligrams a day of the EPA and DHA combined. It is kind of closer to a one-to-one -one ratio but they do mix it with a lot of other vitamins in there. So I personally don't consider this straight up just an omega-3. I think of it more as a dry eye vitamin. In which dry eye vitamins 
is a little bit different topic because that's a lot of other research and we do plan to have future videos on that, so stay tuned. All right, so from all of this, if you do wanna read into any of the research yourself or you wanna learn more about these products specifically, I'll have links in the description below for you. Also, let me know in the comments if you've tried other Omega-3 brands and you've found success with them. I think people get a lot of value out of that. But as I've said in other videos, while Omega-3s do have a lot of support for their health benefits, whether you're getting it from a diet source or you're taking it as a supplement. There's a lot of organs in the body that can be benefited. For the eye specifically, dry eye has quite a bit of research that does support and it's going to help a lot of people. Uh, also for retinal health, it may be beneficial for there too. However, it is not a silver bullet. The human body is very complex and I strongly recommend that you talk to a local eye care professional to get properly diagnosed and get recommended proper treatment for any dry eye or other eye diseases. But wait, what about vitamins for dry eye? Other than omega-3s, what does the research say about the best dry eye vitamin? To learn more about that, check out our next video here coming up. We'll see you there.